What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up. Listen to my dumb ass. Like, subscribe. Um, so I had a conversation, um, uh, a debate, a, con a discussion, a debate. It was an argument about who owns Spider Man. I was uh, chilling. We were sitting at a at a bar. I was eating my I was eating my little my little sliders. You know what I mean? A little beers. And this person, a she, her. She said, with no flinch, with the utmost confidence in her voice, Sony owns Spider-Man. F. Bill Gates, she said that too, but Sony owns Spider-Man. So she's, she's a Sony fan. I don't know if she's a pony. I didn't get into it with her. And I said, no, Marvel owns Spider-Man. Marvel Disney, obviously, but Marvel owns Spider-Man. Sony owns the movie rights. I mean, that's, that's easy, right? It's, it's, Marvel makes comics, Spider-Man comics, and they sell the merchandise, Spider-Man merchandise. They own that. They own the character. They sold the rights to the movies to Sony in 98. I knew all this because, you know, I pay attention sometimes. And I don't know what... This person is not an idiot that I know of. Um, so I was... I didn't... We didn't even get it. I was... We just kept going back and forth. She's like, you don't have to believe me. Google it. I'm a, I was like, I already know the actual truth and facts of the what we're talking about. Spider-Man is owned by Marvel. Sony owns the movie rights. I said, and then my friend who didn't help, he Googled it. And the first thing that comes up when you Google who owns the rights to Spider-Man or who owns the character Spider-Man is that whole So I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up real quick. Uh, let me do another. I'm, I'm going to show you that. But we say... Who owns Spider-Man? We we'll just do that one. That was the last one I did. This is the first thing that shows up. Sony Pictures. And this is why people are dumb. Okay? This is why people are fooled. This is why people, they, oh, there's the answer. Google told me. But they didn't read. I explained. They own the movie rights. They don't own the character. This is the case. Sony can't go out and make Spider-Man comic books. Because they don't own Spider-Man. They own the movie rights. They don't even own the TV rights. I believe. That's why you see a lot of Spider-Man cartoons and stuff. Not made by Sony. Anyway. Yeah, so this is, this is you know, this is what he pulled up. My friend. He's like, yeah, you're, she's right. I was like, no, she's not. <laughs> so they were like ganging up on me. So anyway... Go to Don't Tell Harry. Give, give, him, give him his props. I'll, I'll put the link in the, in the description. But Don't Tell Harry says asks, asks the same thing. Who owns Spider-Man? Sony or Marvel? You know, that's a good question, right? And I the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of ponies out there swear they know or swear Sony owns Spider-Man. That's why Spider-Man is exclusive on the PlayStation. I'm like, well, uh, that game is because a Sony studio made it and the contract that they signed with marvel probably dictates that it's going to be exclusive obviously because that's how sony rolls every contract that they sign is like nintendo time exclusive you can't do this nowhere else remember when i said sony was like old-fashioned they did they, they they living in the past they taking nintendo's uh playbook and they running with it anyway so the question, who owns Sony or Marvel? I mean, I just said it before, but this is from somebody. I just found this, you know, and then you talk about the movies, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So it says, to understand the rights issues surrounding Spider-Man, I need to break the character down into three different categories. Spider-Man in the comics, Spider-Man on film, and Spider-Man merchandise. Spider-Man appears in the comics. It is under the control of Marvel Comics and Disney, the parent company of Marvel. So Marvel Disney owns the rights to Spider-Man comics. If Spider-Man appears in film it is under control of sony pictures sony owns the rights to spider-man movies asterisk get back to that spider-man merchandise is owned and controlled by marvel comics and disney parent company so marvel owns the rights to spider-man merchandise all right so back to this uh the movie thing right just like the fantastic four because they did the same thing with the fantastic four marvel they they licensed out the property to fox as well as the x-men now that disney bought fox they got them back, right? So the contract, I don't know what the contract is between Sony and Marvel 
as far as how many Spider-Man. If if Sony does not use the Spider-Man character in their movies for a certain amount of time, the rights return back to Marvel. That to me says they don't own the character. They don't own Spider-Man because if they say, ah, we don't feel like making Spider-Man movies for, I don't know, 20 years. Guess what? They can't make no more Spider-Man movies because they don't own Spider-Man. The contract says you don't make the movies. Yo, we getting it back. And that's just licensing. That's not even it's 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 licensing for movies. It's not like ownership. It's, it's such a weird word. They don't own they own the rights. OK, so in that in that context, sure. But literally, they do not own Spider-Man. The character, the IP Spider-Man is owned by Marvel Disney, period. So, I mean, I just had to do this real quick little video because I had an argument and I kind of gave up and I was like, I, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you because I know what the facts are. I know how it works. <laughs> and she was just like, burr, 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 burr. no, no, Sony, 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 go Google it. And I was like, All right, whatever. In 98, that's when uh, Marvel sold the rights to Sony because they were about to go out of business, basically. Uh, and so let me see. Deal Grant is fine. Bruce and Every five years. See, that? that's what I was looking for. So if they don't make a movie every five years if so there will be a spider-man movie every five years till the end of time because sony wants to keep it now does that include venom movies or or um kind of uh characters connected to the spider-man universe i'm not sure um i don't know i don't know about that i mean yeah that's 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 a question i would like to actually have answered um when a deal was made for the film rights as well as merchandise and more, uh, it did not include Spidey comic book carrier. It didn't, blah, blah. Therefore, Marvel Comics will continue to publish Spider Man, Spider Man, and produce Spider Man. Well, Sonic could make it. Oh, say they, they, they changed the, um, they changed something on, uh, on the merchandising. Um, deals in place, Sony began to produce. The, 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 the. Okay. One more day. What is that? Oh, that's the comic. Yeah. Uh, bu- 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 mention them and uh, who cares? Okay, so as part of the license deal, when studios option a character from publishers, they have a certain amount of time. Yeah, that's you know, that's the five year every five years to retain the rights. If you ever wonder, uh, yeah, if you ever wonder why there have been so many Spider Mans over the past few years, it's because of the contractual obligation. The moment that Sony fails to meet its production window is the moment the rights to Spider Man revert back to Marvel. That doesn't sound like Sony owns Spider-Man. That sounds like they got a contract leasing Spider-Man, and if they break the contract, meaning don't make a movie in five years, they lose it. That's bad. That's dangerous because Sony has been mishandling Spider-Man for a while. I would say at least 15 years. No, 10 years. Or longer than that. The Amazing Spider-Man movies, they were bad. They, they just don't, they can't make good, I mean, Sam Raimi was the, was the heart and soul of the first trilogy, and they ruined that at the end, the third one was like hot trash, come on, son, so anyway, uh, that's, that's it, that's it, and that's all, that's all I want to say real quick, a little quickity quick, and hopefully, I mean, I know the person that I had an argument with, with is not gonna actually watch this video, that's fine, uh, but the proof is here, Marvel owns Spider-Man, the character, Sony has a contract to use it in movies for now. I bet. I mean, Marvel got so much money they could they could probably buy it from them. They could probably, like Mar, like well, I don't know. Sony make a lot of money for, on those movies, so I don't think they'd ever sell it. So, but you never know. I mean, Activision got bought. Come on, son. You never know what's gonna happen. Maybe Sony will sell um, uh, Spider Man back to Marvel for twenty billion dollars or something, and and Sony be like, hmm. That's a big paycheck. We could we could buy a studio or something with that, right? I don't know. You know, look, the world is upside down. Cats and dogs living together. Who knows what'll happen? This crazy world with the pop culture video games. It's so it's all good and, and, and joyous and wonderful. And I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you hanging out. Remember, like, subscribe, go watch the music videos. Blah blah blah. I'm working on stuff. Till the later.